All right, what's up, YouTube? So, <clears throat> Dodge came out with a trailer um, yesterday. I didn't see the trailer release. I literally just saw it like five minutes ago, so it's fresh in my mind. Man, like, <sighs> it sucks at Dodge. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Hold on. My hair got caught on my piercing. Okay. In my opinion, it 100% sucks that Dodge is going electric. Don't get me wrong. But, the way they presented it, I'm okay with. Uh, if you've seen the commercial, like from an optimistic point of view, basically they were saying they making us do this, so we giving y'all the closest thing to a muscle car we can get, like <laughs> essentially. But <coughs> I don't know where that came from. But what I got from the ad, I mean from the trailer, is kind of like you still get the rear wheel drive options, you still get the horsepower, you still get the um poor gas mileage you still get that um <laughs> like you get a whole bunch of things am i happy about it no not at all but like i said he even quoted i can quote him in there he said they made us stop selling him so we're doing this um essentially the whole video is manager made us stop making these cars that y'all like so we're gonna make these management compliant cars and also make them have fun like <laughs> so that's that but honestly i'm not fully against it like does it look good no compared to like the charger that's out now that one is like five steps downgrade like if it's on a scale of one to ten and the other one's a ten it's like a five maybe a four uh it looks a lot better than i thought it looked because the one i saw like two years ago was ugly as hell but this one i'm i'm kind of cool with i can kind of see it um uh, I didn't see prices. I know they have one coming out with that Hurricane engine, which is going to be crazy. Um, that's going to be ridiculous, actually. Because that, like, that thing is so moddable, bro. Like, it's it's going to be crazy. But as far as the electrics, I don't, I don't think the sales are going to do that great, honestly. But at the same time, like I said, that it does have the horsepower. It does have the pickup. <clears throat> it does have the speed. It does have the rear-wheel drive. It has somewhat of the body style kind of mixed with the old old body style and the new body style um you still got the rt the scat pack and the banshee like you still got pretty much everything except the engine which is the biggest part but i don't know i don't know i don't know what do you guys think about it like I said, in my opinion i'm cool i guess like i would go get it just because like if i had the money right now i'd just go buy it as soon as it came out um because I just want to see. I want to feel it. I want to see what it's like. Because, <clears throat> like, I've been Dodge, like, for my whole life. Like, I've had Challengers. Um, my truck is a Dodge. Both my trucks are Dodge. Um, I haven't had a Charger. I had a Chrysler. I had a Jeep. Um, multiple Rams. <clears throat> but, yeah, so... It, I've always thought, like, okay, I'll get a brand new Charger when I hit, like, 23. I'm 21 right now. So, I was like, when I hit, like, 23, I may be able to go buy a brand new Charger or finance a brand new Charger, something like that. But, <clears throat> I never could have guessed that Chargers are no more. Like, the Hemi's Chargers as we know them are no more. So, that's that. <laughs> like, that sucks. Don't get me wrong. But, hey, life is life. And everywhere is going electric right now. What's the last one standing? Mustang is the last one standing? And they probably will switch next year, so. Like I said, bro. I hate to see it. <laughs> it's the end of an era for sure. But opinion-wise, I don't think it's going to stop Dodge as much as we think. <clears throat> I think when people get it, they may actually like start liking it more. Because a lot of people just hate it because it's the trend to hate it. Let's be honest here. <coughs> I did not start coughing until I started this video. But a lot of people are hating on it because it's a trend to hate it. Like, a lot of people haven't actually looked at it and seen what it actually looked like and what it do does. Like, nobody can get a real opinion until you drive it. You see people driving it. You get in it. You see what it looks like, etc., etc. But, uh, but don't get me wrong. I'm on the trend of hating electric cars. Like, all the electric cars that's out right now, I don't see not one that may be cool. Maybe the... Um, Nah, because that gas mileage is crazy bad, too. I was going to say the Hummer EV, but that, that thing is kind of crazy. 
Um, yeah, I don't really like any of them out. Even Tesla, I don't really like. Like, I just don't trust Tesla, I guess. Like, I just, I can't do it. I think because it was American-made. American-made, it's an American car. And I just, to me, I was just like, mm, I don't know. Like, Americans mixed with an electric car. I may sound wrong for that, considering I am American, but... It, like, if you look at all the American brands versus all the, like, German brands or European brands, Japan, Japan brands, like... Any foreign car put up to, what's it called, American cars, the foreign ones usually last longer, let's be honest, like, Dodge has a rep for break-in, Ford definitely has a rep for break-in, um, Chevy is kind of good, Chevy Cadillac, they kind of good, the whole General Motor, Motors category, they kind of good, um, they still have their ups and downs, but Mercedes is pretty good besides that AMG. <clears throat> the AMG GT breaks a lot, as far as I know. Um, yeah, Mercedes is pretty good. BMW is eh. Well, depending on how you take care of your BMW is eh. I've seen some last a long ass time, but I have terrible experience with BMWs. Oh, what other brands are VWs? They're pretty good. Volvos, I don't know much about Volvos, I'll be honest. I had, well, my sister had one, but she wrecked it. Um, but in the time of her having it, it seemed great. Like, I didn't see no issues with it. Hyundai. Uh -uh. Again, I've had great experience with Hondas. Um, Desire has one. And she's had it. I mean, it's a 2010 or something like that. It drives perfectly fine. She has another one, 2023. It drives perfectly fine. So, um, good experience with those. It's just, for some reason, something about the American cars. I just have a hard time trusting, like, I feel like they go more for power than reliability a lot of the time. So that's why all of our cars are like known for being stupidly fast. But if you drive an American car hard and drive a European car hard or drive a foreign car hard, the foreign car will probably drive hard for longer, if that makes sense. But that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. So an American-made Tesla, I was like, mm, I, I don't trust it, which I've seen multiple videos now of it fucking up. So it is what it is. But, um, back to the topic at hand. I don't know. I feel like if anybody can pull off an electric muscle car, it's going to be Dodge. I feel like they have the best following for it. So, I kind of, I'm, like, looking forward to see how that release goes and see if they do sell out. I'm sure they will just because of their name. But, not this first year, but I want to see how the second year plays out of them selling it. Like, 2026 models. I want to see if they actually sell. But... And that's going to wrap up this video. Like I said, I just wanted to come over here and throw my opinions on this car. None of y'all asked for it. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. But <laughs> I'm going to head back in with y'all in the next video. I'm actually in the process of filming it now. Just a hint. Stuff on the back of the truck. Gotta love it. But I'm going to tap back in with y'all a little bit later on. Like, comment, subscribe.